Good afternoon once again, members. I hope you can all hear me. As we wait for two minutes to start, we're all here today for the Women Council to see how we can empower women to push women forward to make them better at business in real estate, just like the other parties who are the men. I would like to thank you once again for joining in the meeting. And I hope it's going to be fruitful to you. In a few minutes, at 5.20, we'll, be, we'll begin. But once again, I'd like to um, get comments or any other additions from anyone about the agenda. Please check in the chat for any comments or questions. Our agenda today, we shall start with introductions. We'll go to a prayer. And this will be voluntary. We'll have a volunteer to give us a prayer. We'll have the opening remarks and presentation of the agenda, which I'm doing now by the CEO of Area Uganda. We'll have the presentation from the guest speaker. That is uh, Mr. Julius Caesar. Then we'll have the Q&A, that is question and answer, and an open discussion. We'll have the next steps and action items or we'll have any other business. Then closing remarks by the president of Area Uganda, Madam Shali Kongai. I think she's with us. Then we'll have adjournment and networking. For any other additions or comments, you can post them in the group or unmute and give them to us. But apart from that, I would like to thank everyone again for joining. I think we'll start our meeting. And I'll first recognize the presence of our president, Madam President Shali Kongai. Thank you for joining. And all the members that are here, thank you so much for joining the meeting. The Association of Real Estate Agents those of you that are here with us today and don't know much about Area Uganda, Area Uganda is an umbrella body for real estate practitioners. That is mentioning the brokers, the developers, the real estate managers, and the real estate consultants, plus many other parties that have interest in the sector. Area has fought from 2008 when it was founded to professionalize the sector through advocating for best policies. That includes the real estate law that we are still trying to put in place that will help streamline the sector. We offer the education services, and this is done through our Real Estate Institute of East Africa. This training arm has the courses, that is an um, advanced course. We have the foundation, we have the specialist, and these courses are meant to build and give a party more knowledge about their field, about what they're doing, understand more, understand real estate even more as you're practicing it. We offer networking platforms for our members that is in different networking activities like the meetings, the conferences, and so many other things. We do research, collaborations, and we promote best practices in the sector through our code of conduct that helps stream our members. We also offer more networking opportunities through the recent uh, formed subsidiaries of Area Uganda, like the Area Sports Club. That one is meant to help us keep us fit as we close businesses with different people that we meet. We, are also, we also have a Women Council, which is why we are here today that creates opportunities to uplift and empower women. 
This Women Council was founded by area and its major objective is to empower women, uplift them, train them in different skills that can help them do business better as realtors. This year, we are going to revise and create more opportunities for area women. We will have trainings and more activities to network and empower women that are part of the association. Our Women Council is accessible to all women realtors that are members of Area Uganda. So if you know anyone or you are a member of the, a certain group and you're not yet part of the Area Women, you have to be an area member first. You pay membership that is required annually. After you're paying membership, then you're part of the Area Women Council by default. And you'll be able to access all these opportunities of training, um, particular discounts on what you're going to talk about today, teaching you different uh, skills and knowledge, giving you different knowledge that is supposed to help you as you do your businesses. The Women Council has over the years trained very many realtors giving them platforms to network, close deals. And this has been able to push women further in real estate because they usually say it's a man's job, men do it better because it involves field work. You have to go out to the field and do particular things that women cannot. But with the Area Women Council, we try and push women to do these things too because we know we are all capable. So as the Women Council, Beria Uganda, we welcome all women to be a part of this group. Beria Women Council is open to ideas and we're open to working together with so many of you to push and empower the women in area. Those that are not part, you can always join the area, uh, area membership. After joining the area membership, then you're part of the area women automatically. So we welcome all of you that would want to be part of that. Those that are not members or those that are members already, then that is that is already set for you. You're already part of that. But those that are not, you just have to approach us. Our office is at Jumbo Plaza on Parliament Avenue, ground floor, room nine, stroke 10. You can pass by join the association and then you're able to automatically be part of the area women council and access all these opportunities or you can reach out to us on our numbers they're all over the website you can call us and we are able to give these opportunities to you or bring them closer to you so today uh we're going to speak about online selling this is mainly to help the women is a discount that has been put up only for the women, and it's only going to be accessible for women realtors. I know there are some men here, but uh, this is only for the women for this time. We're also going to look at finding opportunities for you as men, but today is all about the women. So we'll have our guest speaker, Mr. Julia Caesar, that will take us through our session give us more knowledge on uh, online marketing and how we can persevere through it, how we can win at it. Mr. Julia Caesar, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam CEO. Um, I would like to take this opportunity I hope I'm loud and clear. CEO confirmed. Yes, I can hear you. Wonderful, wonderful. I hope you are now. I would like, yes, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone who has come to attend this uh, gathering, this online gathering. Uh, my name is Julian Sebale. I operate a company called Zilip Technologies Limited. It's basically a technology company that specializes mainly in web-based technologies, web-based data-based technologies. We have quite a number of products online. 
but uh, one that many of you would already know is called the real estate database. It has been around for 10 years plus. And on top of that, we have uh, other platforms. There is a platform called the Moody.co.hug. It's also a real estate platform. And this one targets mainly high-end property buyers. Then we also have another platform called Realtor.ug. It's a relatively new platform, but uh, this one is basically intended to advance artificial intelligence. At your own time, you can visit these online platforms and you see how they work. Uh, but the theme today is basically empowering women realtors. First, before I progress, I would like to let you know that uh, I'm currently working at home. So if you hear any sounds, any strange sounds, uh, kids crying, dogs barking, please do not uh, be afraid. Um, so I wanted to put that off the mark. Okay. I hope everyone out there can be able to see uh, the screen that I'm presenting right now. Uh, the theme today is empowering women realtors. And uh, how did we arrive to this theme? Um, arriving at this theme has been a series of observations on the internet. There are not so many women who are doing real estate at the moment. The number is growing, but I think the pace of women who are taking up the real estate agency business is not as I think it should be. So what happened is I linked up with Area Uganda to try and see how we can empower women to take up the real estate agency business for real estate in general. Some women think it's a difficult business. Some women think it's a business for men only. But I think it's a business that is open to all genders. And uh, based on the observation that there are few women and some other observations that I'm going to mention, I thought it was prudent to link up with area and this is also added to the fact that area has what is called a women's council. For those of you who didn't know that, area has a women's council that helps women to network, that helps women share knowledge. So I thought linking up with the women's council to help the women go online and promote their properties online, become more efficient, and utilize many of the online technologies that currently exist. Uh, many of the women within the area women council do not, for example, have websites for one reason or another. So I thought now is the time to be able to support those women, give them the knowledge they need, give them the tools they need so that they can go online and catch up and increase the pace at which they are taking on the real estate business or for them to become more efficient so that they are at the forefront. There are quite a few companies that have been started by women. I've worked with some of them. And there are other factors that we are going to see which I think very important for us to be able to support or empower the women, especially using technology. So our first uh, chapter here is to do with empowering women realtors using technology. Uh, what is special about the women? Or why the women? One of my observations is that women are more trustworthy. I've worked with so many women on the real estate database and other platforms. But when I look at the track record, I can see that there are very few complaints about women 
who are having their property listings online. There are usually more complaints about men. And this basically shows me that women are a lot more trustworthy than the men. And on the database, really, we need people who are trustworthy, or even going online. You need people who are trustworthy because that's what clients are looking out for. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to reach out and come up with this theme for empowering women. The other observation is that women tend to follow the rules. When you set up rules, you'll find that women are more responsive to these rules than men. I don't know if men have a lot of ego, but I find that women follow the rules with, and their success rate in terms of sales, in terms of engaging the, the, the property buyers, is a little higher. Property buyers trust them faster. Property buyers appreciate their work simply because most of them follow the rules. The other observation about women is that they pay attention to detail. There is a woman I always talk about on the real estate database. I find her work fascinating because when she goes on site, she basically takes a picture of everything in sight. I find that her website has 50 to 100 photos simply because she takes a photo of each and every room. She takes a photo of the sculptures. She takes a photo of the chandelier. She takes a photo of each and every unique thing on the property. And that's common to many of the women that have worked with. They pay attention to detail. And that is also another success factor. And also one of the reasons why I think they should be supported so that more of them can work as an example to the rest of the real estate industry. Now, who are some of the notable women that have worked with? At this point, I must let you know that I'll be shifting between my PC and the mobile so as to be able to demonstrate some of the things that I need to demonstrate. Uh, just a minute, let me change the view here. Or maybe I'll come to this item later. I'll show you some of the women that I've worked with on the different platforms. And the point of bringing up this list of women that I've worked with is basically to inspire those who are not yet online. There are quite a number of women who are on Nagudi, so many women who are on Realtor.ug, so many women who are on the real estate database, and I've seen so many on the different platforms. So those who are not yet on those platforms should get inspired by seeing those who are already there and the kind of work they are doing. Or if you think you are a lady and you want to enter the industry, I have some of example, examples of women that you can, you can engage, that you can interact with. So I'll be showing you that list later. I didn't want to waste time shifting. Okay, I was talking about the notable women in real estate. And uh, other women can emulate them. They can share ideas with them. They can learn from them. So I'll show you that list later so that I don't shift from, from the current screen. Uh, then here I have to mention that based on the factors that I've mentioned above, we came up with a special offer. Uh, we as Zillion Technologies, we as a Real Estate Database, we came up with a special offer for women realtors who are members of the area women Council. This is an offer that is intended to empower the women, to make it easy for them to embrace technology. So all those women who are already members of the Area Women Council, there is a 50% offer for you to list your properties online. Those who are not yet members of Area, it is prudent that you join Area so that you utilize an offer. 
uh, it is only for women who are members of area because of the fact that once a person or a woman joins area, then they follow a specific code of conduct. We as real estate database would prefer members of area to be on any of our platforms because they follow a specific code of conduct. So I wanted to mention that offer, which is intended basically for women who are members of area and therefore members of the Women Council. I'll be expanding on that offer in detail at a later stage. So I want us to have an overview of the channels, of the current channels and platforms that women utilize to go online. First of all, a website. A website is important if you are to go online. There are so many other ways to go online and list your properties, but a website is one of the key platforms that you need to use. Um, a website has three components. It has a domain. You need to register the domain, www.yourcompany.com. Then it also has the component of the design and layout. Your website must have a theme, it must have specific colors based on your logo or based on the colors that you're interested in or based on separate colors. Then of course there is a third component which is hosting. So those are the three components that a website has. As I said, a website is one of the platforms women can be able to use to go online. The other platforms can be referred to as multiple listing services. Uh, one of them is the real estate database that I mentioned earlier, or the RED. We cut it short and call it a RED. Uh, the other platform is Realtor.qg, relatively new. And as I said earlier, it was created to enhance the power of artificial intelligence. Uh, maybe I need to explain a little more on that. Artificial intelligence these days is used in real estate to determine what a client wants. So when you go to that website and try to search for whatever you need to search, it will attempt to determine what you want. It will attempt to work out as you click the different pages, it will work out what you need and then make suggestions for you using artificial intelligence or using what they call machine learning. So that's the purpose why Realtor.qg was created. We saw that artificial intelligence was being used uh, in the United States and also in Europe. And we thought we needed to have a platform that implements artificial intelligence and try it out and see if Ugandans can embrace it. The other platform or MLS, multiple listing service that you can use, is lamudi.co.ug. It's also a platform that lists property. Now, besides those three, there are so many others. Unfortunately, many of them do not last long. They usually keep around for one or two years and they go off the market. The business of running multiple listing service or a listing platform is quite complex. It is not as easy as everyone thinks. But for now, those are the platforms that you can use, plus several others. You may be letting us know in the chat which other platforms you know about so that we can learn more about them. Uh, another platform, another set of platforms or channels that you can use is the social media. For now, I've highlighted the four major social media channels that you can use. There is Facebook, one is popular. It has some challenges lately. For those who were using it or still using it, you know that to use it, you need to have VPN. And using it via VPN is a bit of a challenge because if you're advertising, then targeting becomes difficult. And that's the reason why it's not forming it used to before it was blocked. 
but it's still one of those channels that you can use to engage with your clients. Then also WhatsApp is another platform that you can use to engage your clients. Uh, specifically WhatsApp for Business. There is a WhatsApp channel known as WhatsApp for Business, which is designed for business. It has a lot of business tools that you can use to promote your listings on the internet. Uh, the other social media channel that you may be interested in is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is mainly for professionals. So if you're the type who wants to target the professionals, the lawyers, the surveyors, all those categories of professionals that you can think of, LinkedIn is designed for them. And therefore, if you want to reach out, you would need to use LinkedIn as a platform. Then there is also Twitter. These days, Twitter has really picked up. It has quite a number of users. It's a platform that you can use to engage customers. It's a platform that you can use to reach out. So those four are the major social media channels that you can use as a woman. Many women are already using them for the reason that they're free. You have nothing to lose if you use them. There's quite a number of other platforms, Snapchat, um, Viber, so many of them. Those are also free, but these ones I highlighted here are the major ones that you should be able to make use of. I must explain something about these social media channels. Some people think when you go to these social media channels, it's all about posting, posting, especially if you're marketing. But social media is also about commenting. It's also about uh, sharing. It's also about liking. So as you share and like and comment, you get more visibility. Or your channels that you're using get more visibility. So it's not just about posting, but you also need to share, like, and comment so that other people can see what you've liked and therefore they will engage with you. I'm saying that because I see so many people who just go post and post and post and you find that your audience is not growing because what you're doing is basically continuously posting without engaging. So the engagement is also important. I said commenting liking and sharing besides the posting. So those some of the social media platforms and the different channels that you as a woman can be able to use to reach out to your clients. As I said, they are free. You have nothing to lose. Then we need to have a discussion on how you can effectively use these channels. Uh, yes, they are free, but they need constant attention if you are to grow your audience. As a real estate agent or as a realtor, you may be busy, and therefore you need an assistant. You need an assistant to be doing the posting, to be doing the sharing, to be doing the liking. Because you are in the field, most of the time, you may find it difficult to come back from the field and then do the posting and sharing, you know, the social media reviews. So in that case, to be effective in using these platforms, you need an assistant. Because on average, at least you need to post something every week. At least you need to post something every month. So you need an assistant to be able to help you with being effective on the social media platforms. But alternatively, you can outsource your social media assets to social media management companies. There are quite a number of them, but one I would like to highlight, or one that I use, is called Clark.io. Now, Clark.io has scheduling functions. Meaning you can post your 
you can do your posts in advance and then schedule them. For example, if you have time, you have one hour of your free time, you can spend that hour scheduling your posts. And then once you schedule them, they'll be automatically posted on the specific dates that you schedule them to be posted. Meaning you don't have to be online the entire week trying to post. So using clock.io is quite helpful in being able to post automatically on the scheduled dates. Then clock.io also helps to do for you artwork. They can do for you artwork based on what you want to promote. Call them flyers. For that, you can be able to post these flyers weekly on your different social media platforms. You need artwork that looks good. You need artwork that is attractive. So the people at clap.io can help you with that so that you can be able to post these flyers using a schedule and they'll be going out automatically and your clients will keep engaged even when you're busy doing several other things. So find time, to visit clap.io. There are so many platforms like clap.io. I just mentioned that one because I'm familiar with it and I know what it does. But there are quite a number of others that you can be able to use. All the details about them are on their website. Then also you need client relationship manager. The client relationship manager helps you to be effective in a way that you can use it to follow up your clients. Having worked with agents for some time, I know that they have follow-up problem. The best a client can, an agent can do is to follow up a client for a month. And somehow they give up or they lose track. Or they just continue to, to, to follow up those they've just received. And yet the clients that they contacted earlier are the ones that should be maturing today. So once you, you use CRM, a CRM is client relationship manager. That's CRM. An example of a client relationship manager is QuickTask. QuickTask is done by Zillion Technologies, that's it. And it's a tool that you use to follow up your clients. You simply post a client and you, you, you enter the follow up dates and you'll find that client when you open QuickTask on a specific day, you'll be able to see all the clients that you are supposed to follow up. QuickTasker does not drop any clients along the way. So as long as the client contacted you and picked interest in a specific service of yours, that person will remain in QuickTasker for as long as he's still interested in your service and you'll continue to follow him for years on end. There is another product called Zoho. It's also one of the popular products that you can use. It's also a CRM follow-up tool, and it will help you follow up your clients. Many of you want to follow up using your diary, or you have a small book that you use to follow up. But from my experience, once you open one, two, three, four, five pages, going to a previous page where you wrote specific clients, can be very, very difficult. And for those who use books, it so happens that you may fill one, two, three books. But the problem with those books, they don't update with a comment on what you last communicated with the client. Those two tools that I've shown you there are very helpful in that scenario. Once you engage a client, you post a comment every time you discuss with that client, which means every time you go back to that client, you have a chronology of what you discussed earlier. And in fact, if you're not around and someone else needs to assist you, your assistant needs to assist you, that client just has to check in with Tasca or Zoho and find your previous communications with, with the client and then engage the client. Because most times you've moved with your diary, so your assistant will not be able to help you with the clients you are following. So you need CRM follow up your clients so that you don't drop any balls. Now, that point is in bold because it is very, very important. 
I know for sure, having worked with agents, that following up is a challenge if they don't have a tool. And those tools require display. You must enter your clients, you must schedule them, so that the follow up is consistent, so that you don't drop any balls. A client can only get out of Victor's car or Zoho if he has said, No, I'm no longer buying, or I already bought. Or if it says I died, so please stop disturbing me. That's the only way you can drop a client out of any of those two tools. But short of that, you'll keep on following them day on end until they buy. If you stop following a client, you lose track of it. The client also forgets you. But if you continue to follow up, then the client will not forget you and will even refer other people to your company. Another way you can be effective is to use a new tool, tool that is relatively new, which is known as ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT is a tool that you can type whatever you want. You can ask it what you want. It's more like a chat. And that's why anyway, it's called ChatGPT. You can type in whatever you want, and it will respond with options. You want to write a letter, you want to create an agenda for a meeting. The agenda for today's meeting was actually created by ChatGPT. I went to ChatGPT and posted what I wanted it to do. I want an agenda for such and such a meeting, and it gave me an agenda. Uh, the other importance of ChatGPT is writing descriptions and blogs. Now, some of us are not very good writers. So we need a tool that can help us write on specific topics. We also need a tool that can help us write property descriptions. I see on the real estate database, some of the women go post their properties and they say, nice house for rent in Muye. That description is very, very sharp and it does not give any information to the client. It is very important for you to write a detailed description of your property. That is when the client will pick more interest in your property. There are so many properties out there, there are so many options. So if you don't describe your property well, then that will be a challenge, you will miss out on clients. Now, when you go to chat GPT, you just put the specifications of your property. Six bedroom house in Muyenga at this cost, with this number of rooms and so on and so forth. Once you put that and you tell it, write for me a description for this property, it will give you two, three paragraphs of a description for that property. It is true that many of us don't know how to write description, but now here is the secret out of the box. You can use chat GPT to create a description. Later on, we shall be seeing the complete uh, domain of chat GPT. Uh, you can take time to search for it on the web, but uh, in the coming slides, I'm going to show you the complete domain for chat GPT. I want to emphasize that the most important thing with chat GPT tool is writing descriptions for your properties. Most of the descriptions on the internet, most of the descriptions on the different platforms are so shallow that they don't properly sell the property. So using chat GPT, is a good way to generate your descriptions so that people can pick more interest in your properties. And when you write an elaborate description, I must mention that Google search engine gives you a higher ranking. When you go to Google and search for properties, you will see that the properties that come up at the top are usually those that have elaborate descriptions because those descriptions have a lot of keywords in there. So make use of chat GPT to do your descriptions. Uh, what are some of the strategies that you can use in creating engaging or compelling property content? Um, the first one there is writing descriptions. It's a good strategy to have elaborate descriptions. And as I've just mentioned, chat GPT is one of those tools that you can use to create elaborate descriptions. There are so many other things you can do with that GPT, by the way. 
For us programmers, I didn't want to mention that, but it can give you complete code to write whatever function you want to write. But specifically for real estate, the most, the biggest advantage that I saw with it is to create descriptions. But also to create blogs. As I said, some of us are not very good writers. You think about creating a blog and after creating six paragraphs of the blog, you read up, you read through it, and it's not really interesting. If you go to chat GPT and give it a topic to write about, it can write for you an entire blog, and basically you just format it and present it based on the topic that you wanted to write about. So that you see there is the full address for chat GPT, chat.openai.com. You may want to note that one, because that one will take you direct, directly to chat GPT. So another strategy that you can use to to create engaging and compelling property content is to use high quality images and lots of them. Uh, in that case, you need to have a good camera, you need to have a good phone that takes high quality images. Clients usually pick a lot of interest in high quality images. If you have low quality images online, you may not be able to sell or others will be able to sell before you. So having high quality images is another strategy that is quite important for you to present your properties online. And I must repeat, you must have so many of them. For sure, if a property costs 600 million, I don't see why anyone would have five images of that property. There are so many things that you can photograph on a property of 600 million. In some cases, it has a swimming pool, in some cases, it has so many rooms. It has a large compound. So each of the rooms in the property is a photo. You can't go out of that property costing 600 million without taking a photo of each and every room in that property. And just the outside only, you can be able to take 10 photos of the property. You can take the swimming pool, the wall fence, the compound, the servant's quarters, the front view, side view, view, the neighborhood, and so on and so forth. Just the outside, you can have 10 images of the outside. Even before you can, the gate, the driveway, you know, the garden, all those pictures. So having high quality pictures, and many of them, is very important for you as a woman to be able to achieve engaging content. Now, the more images you have, the higher the ranking on Google. That's also another secret. There are some people who post four, three images for a property. If you have so many images, the client spends a lot of time looking at those images. And the more time the client spends on a specific page for a property, Google assumes that that page is important and therefore gives it a higher rank. If a client comes to a page and spends less than a minute, Google will see that that page is not important. It doesn't have important information. Because whoever comes to that page just disappears. So it's important for you to have high quality images and very many of them. And therefore, you will be able to engage your clients. You must also have a good and professional profile picture. Um, I see some very horrible profile pictures on many of our platforms on the net. So having a professional picture on your listings will also help you to get many more clients. Normally when people come online, they want people to trust. They have their 300 million, 400 million, 100 million. They want to find an agent that they can trust. If you don't have a good profile picture, then choosing you can be a challenge. So that is one of the ways that you can engage uh, the clients online. Then you also need to create networks. Yeah? Once you create these networks, then they will help you to engage your clients or they will help you to bring in more reference. So networking is also another way that you can use to engage your clients.
what are some of the best practices that you can use to network and follow up potential clients? Uh, you can do open houses. Open houses is where you invite a set of clients or you invite the general public to come and tour a specific house that you are selling. This helps you to engage and network with potential clients. Another way to engage and network with clients is to use blogs. You choose specific topics of interest to property buyers and then write about them, post them on your social media, post them on your website. As I said, blogs are very difficult to write if you're not a good writer, but I already showed you a tool that can help you to write an entire blog just by specifying the topic and a few specifications that you want, and it will give you uh, an entire blog that you can post on your website. Then there are also what we call blogs. Those are video blogs, generally. So those blogs can be posted on several platforms. They can be posted to YouTube. They can be posted to TikTok and other platforms that allow videos. Uh, sometimes you don't have to really be professional when it comes to videos. You can just present what you have in your own way and be original. Once you do that, then you can get a following or you can network with so many people using your vlogs. Another way to build a following and to network is to use newsletters. You can send out monthly newsletters or if it's possible, you can do weekly newsletters. This goes back to the ability to write. If you really don't know how to write, then you can engage a professional writer or you can use the tool that I showed you earlier. So newsletters are also another way that you can use to engage your clients online. Then you can also share content from other sources. So content from you is just not enough. Sometimes you can't cover all the content you need to cover. Sometimes you can share content from other people if there is a topic of interest to your client. You can share that content on your website. You can share that content on your social media platforms so that you can attract more users. Once you post something on your, on your social media platform, those who are following you will see that you've posted something. Your clients will see that you've posted something and they'll pick interest. That's another way to engage them to create a following and also network with your potential clients online. In summary, what have we looked at? We've seen why women are special. I told you that they seem to be more trustworthy. They follow the rules and so on. Then we've also seen some of the current platforms that you can use as a woman to go online. We saw the website, we saw the social media, we also saw the multiple listing services. We also saw how those platforms can be used to network and to engage clients. Then we also looked at some of the strategies that you can use to create compelling content. I already showed you a tool, talked about blogs, and everything else. Then we've also looked at the best practices for building a following online. So in summary, that's what we've looked at today. So before we go into the Q&A, um, that is the summary for what we've just looked at. At this juncture, I would like to know if there's anyone who has any questions generally about using the internet if you are a lady and you've always wanted to go on the internet to promote your properties or you are confused about the best tools to use or you need to know how you can create a website or you want to know which is the best platform to use this is the time for you to ask any questions that you have i think the format is going to be that you raise your hand then uh, I will be able to let you 
uh, a question that you need to ask. So from what I've said, please feel free to ask any question that you want to ask, or you may have a question that has been bothering you about using the internet. Please feel free to go ahead, raise your hand, unmute your microphone, and ask. Okay, I'm doing quite a number of tasks here, but um, I should be able to see. I see someone has raised their hand, asked to unmute. Yes, you have a question. Please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Can you hear me? Just confirm if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. okay, thanks. Thanks really a lot for this very educational and informative session. I appreciate Area Uganda for organizing this. Um, uh, I just wanted to find out, um, you, you mentioned um, the fee of 1.2 1, 1 M to, that is paid, I think, to Area Uganda to do the posting, well, where the women will have a 50% discount. Is this per year or what? How, how is it um, scheduled? Thank you for that question. Uh, the offer for women real estate is that they'll be paying 50% to list their properties on the three platforms that I showed you earlier. There's the real estate database, there's realtor.ug, and there's lamodi.co.ug. Now, the normal price is 1.2 to list on any of those platforms. But for this specific pass, for the purpose of this theme, Empowering Women Realtors, you get a 50% discount. So your cost on listing on any of those platforms is going to be 600000 But as I said, or as the CEO emphasized, you need to be a member of area. So if you're not yet a member of area, then you'll find that you need to pay membership fee, become a member of area, then you will be eligible to get the discount. I hope that answers your question, Maria. Yes. There is a question from Victoria. The, sorry, I didn't get the picture which the, that amount covers. Is it a one year payment? Is it a oh, lifetime yes, payment? Oh, sorry, I I I, did, I skipped that. Uh, it's an annual payment. Now, okay. the six hundred thousand is an entry fee. It's to enable you to quickly get online. So the discount is for the first year. So the first year you pay six hundred thousand for entry. This is basically to make it easy for you to go online. But the successive year, you pay 1.2. I hope that clears it. There is a question from uh, Victoria. Please, Victoria, go ahead and ask. Yeah, thank you so much, Julia. Uh, thank you so much for that wonderful presentation. It's actually timely, the mere fact that it's just the beginning of the year. Uh, we've been planning and thinking and wondering how to become better. So thank you so much uh, for that presentation. It's very elaborate and very informative. I want also to thank Area for organizing this. Uh, I believe as women, we are going to go far in advancing our careers in this real estate industry. Okay, the question that I'm asking is, you had promised us in your presentation that you're going to give us uh, a list of women whom you have worked with and have been successful and you hadn't yet given it to us, it's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, I want to know those who are influencing us in that area. Thank you. Okay, Victoria, thank you for that uh, reminder. Uh, let's go to the real estate database here. I hope uh, you're seeing the browser screen that I'm displaying. If I go down, down, down.
I click right there, find a trusted real estate agent. Okay, um, I've not had to go to my phone, so I think I should be able to present this here. Uh, first, right away on that page, there is the first woman there called Monica. Monica has been on this on the real estate. Yeah, not seeing. Platform. You're not seeing. Yeah, it's not displaying as a presentation. Is it displaying as a website? <laughs> Is it displaying as a website? I don't even know how to explain it, but anyway, maybe you okay. can read. You're it. looking at the real estate data web website. Are you seeing red? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Yes. So, oh, it's so only mine that you're not displaying. Come again. It's okay now. It's okay now, actually. It's okay. Okay. So, right there, you can see. There is that first lady here called Monica. Okay. Monica has been on the real estate database for quite some time. We've worked together for quite some time. They own a company called Moin Properties. This they are quite efficient in what they do. And uh, they have quite what I like about their presentation, their descriptions. They do quite elaborate descriptions and they take very many pictures for their properties, high quality pictures. Uh, next here, there is Margaret. She has also been on the platform for quite some time. So if you go to the real estate database and click the list of agents, you will get this list and you'll be able to see this lady. There is Margaret here. Her number is there. You can always engage her and, uh, and ask her how she does it and ask her for some strategies. Uh, then over there we have Irene. Irene is based in Entebbe. Uh, she has a banking background, but she has been on the database, so in the real estate industry for almost 10 years, I think. So she's good at what she does. Her niche is mainly the Entebbe area. You can feel free to consult her. She has quite an amount of experience in real estate the moment. Uh, then over there we have this lady, she's called Edith. She's from a company called Shua Properties. Very active lady, very determined. You can feel free to consult her if you want to join the real estate industry or if you want to know how to sell online. Then we also have McLean. McLean is from Pedro Property Management. Uh, McLean is currently based in Barad. For those of you who have been following Fredo, they have an agreement or a management arrangement with National Housing. So McLean is now the one currently managing the, the Western region, the Barada branch, Fredo management. You can also reach out to her and consult her on how to list your properties online. She has been doing it for some time now under credo management, and uh, she's quite cooperative. We have Naba Tanzi from Victoria Nile Estates. Uh, Victoria has also been in the real estate business for some time. I'm, I'm saying Victoria Nile Estates. So Naba Tanzi can also help you with how to list your properties online. We have Brenda who is relatively new, uh, but she's new online but she has also been in the business for some time. She covers the Chanja area. We have Rashida from Matias. Uh, Matias Properties. She is also relatively new. And uh, she can give you the little experience that she has received by going online. Then we have Grace. Grace is one of the latest entrants into the online platforms but she has been in the real estate business for quite some time. Uh, she runs a company called Expert Housing. I like the presentation of their properties online, so you can consult them about that. They take very high quality pictures, and many of them. So that one is also another person that you can engage. Then we have Doreen. 
which is from Megjeff Holdings. We have Damali from RentWide. RentWide, I think, has the largest number of women on the real estate database. They have Gladys, they have Lynette, they have Gift. Then they also have Kathy from RentWide. So there are quite a number of women in RentWide. RentWide is a company that was started by Dennis Mostoke. It has also been around for quite some time. Uh, Mostoke has quite a number of experience, and I'm also happy that he has mentored a number of women to take the mantle in the real estate industry. Sinta, Jacinta also came from RentWide, and now she's thriving with a company called Pepper. She's just about four years old in the industry, but she can help you with some of the experience that she has gained. There is Lynn from Moen Properties. You remember the first one was Monica, but there is Lynn also from Moen Properties. These ones have a huge amount of experience in the real estate business because their company was started in the 70s, if not in the 60s. So she has a wealth of experience from her mother, who you saw up there, Monica, and so she can be helpful in uh, mentoring you on how to utilize your online presence. Then lastly, down here we have her, who is also from Renewals Real Estate. She was mentored by Irene, the one we saw earlier. Those are some of the women that are already taking the mantle on the real estate database. Those are some of the women worked with. And I guess they should be kind enough to help you go online. So feel free to engage them. Feel free to consult them. Feel free to borrow a leaf of what they do. So I hope that uh, satisfies your question, uh, Victoria. Uh, yes, any other question? Okay, wonderful. Any other question about online marketing? Anything that is puzzling you? Anything that you think I, I can answer? Anything that you think you can share with us? Feel free to raise your hand so that uh, we can discuss what you have. Julia, someone has sent a direct message. Okay. It was part of the participants, but off now. The question is, how can they get the leads from the website? Leads from, once you put your properties online, property buyers are going to find them through two ways. Mostly they use the Google search engine. A person wants to buy property in a specific location, say he wants to buy land in Tian. If they don't have a personal agent, the first thing they do is to go to Google and then type in uh, land for sale in Tian. So once they do that, then they will get a list of options. Now, if you're not online, you won't be in that list of options. If you don't have a website, you won't be in that list of options. But what is interesting is usually if you search for a property for sale or for rent in a specific location, normally the real estate database comes first or it comes on the first page. And normally it's for... The fact that people can search Google, find your properties either on the real estate database or find your properties on uh, your own website. Then some of them can come directly to the real estate database because of reference. Someone will refer to them, you'll say, no, you go to the real estate database. It has a lot of properties. One of the advantages of the real estate database, unlike other platforms, is if you go on personal website, it will have three properties in Muyenga and none in Mitian. But if you go to the real estate database, then it's most likely that you'll find a variety of properties. Uh, so there are two ways for you to get leads. Either someone is searching from the search engine to your website, you can generate leads for you. Or someone has come directly to your website through a referral. I want to emphasize that if you are not online, then they are not going to find you online. 
then you're not going to come up in the Google search results. The best way to come up in the Google search results is if you have a website, which will come on the first page or on other pages, or the real estate database will represent you on the first page, or someone will go directly to your website using referrals. So those are the two main generators of leads. Now, of course, social media can also generate for you leads. As I said, you need to be posting at least once a week on social media. You post your listings, you post your properties, you post your blogs. And if you can't do that and you're a field person, we already saw that you need an assistant to help you to be able to post on those social media platforms. Or you can engage a social media marketing company. I showed you Clark.io, which can help you to do that. So social media, your website and the Google search engine are really the major generators for the leads that you may need. And uh, I hope that answers the question that was asked about how you generate leads. Basically, people bring themselves using those platforms. They go to those platforms. For social media, it's just engaging. When you post something, they see it, and then wish to know that you have a property listing share it with other people who are interested, or they themselves may be the buyer. For the real estate database and the Google search engine, those who want to buy actually bring themselves. Of course, we do some promotions here and there to attract them, but being on top of the search engine is an advantage that we already have, which seems to be working for us. So I hope that answers the issue of generating leads. There may be other channels, generate leads of course direct referrals which is an offline method if you've made a client happy they will refer another client without coming online so that's also another lead generate referrals but as far as the online platforms are concerned the three i've mentioned are the key platforms that you can use to generate leads uh, any other question It looks like uh, we have exhausted the, the questions that you may have. So, the founder of Walt Disney once said that the best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. You've been thinking about going online. You've been think, thinking about listing your properties. You've been thinking about creating a website. You've been thinking about utilizing all the platforms that are available. So you need to get started. They say the best way to start is to start. Great help, because I have quite an experience in online marketing. Now, talking about the channels we have, the channels that we have and using have their own challenges they are not foolproof but we are working out ways of making sure that they are more efficient than inefficient that's why we are reaching out to the women remember i told you that women seem to pay attention to details they are more trustworthy and yes, you have a few minutes left. i have a few minutes left mm -hmm. yes this is i think the concluding slide so if you've been thinking of going online, please feel free to consult me. Join the Area Women Council if you're not yet a member of the Area Women Council. Or join Area, then you will be legible to a 50% offer for you to go online. Uh, this 50% offer is going to last for one year, 2023. If you don't join the Area Women Council uh, in 2023, then you're going to miss out this offer so here is an opportunity for you to display your properties online stop keeping your properties on the phone because clients are not going to look for them on your phone you need to have them online where potential clients can see them so that they can make inquiries 
so that they can buy from you. So once we get those women who are from the, from the area women council, since they follow a code of conduct, we expect them to be a lot more efficient. We expect them to follow the rules and we expect them to enhance the work that we do. So feel free to consult me. I should help you out to join the real estate industry if you have not yet, or to go online and promote your properties. You can also feel free to go directly to area. Area has their offices on Parliamentary Avenue, Jumbo Plaza. They can connect you to other women who have not, I have not talked about. There are so many women out there who are experts in the real estate industry. They can connect you to those women through networking, or they can refer you to those women so that you engage, so that you get inspired for you to be able to use the online platforms that we have looked at today. So thank you everyone for listening to me. Uh, over to you, Madam CEO. Thank you so much, Julius, for that presentation. It was very educative. And I hope all women, part of us today, can take up the opportunity to learn and create the compelling content and make more sales as we've been told we can use the internet to boost ourselves and even without the movement so i hope many of us can take it up because it's a great opportunity you're going to take a 50 percent off you're going to be able to get the leads and you will make the sales you close the deal so for those that are not area members you can join area the area membership is 200,000 for individuals, that is annually. Then we have packages for companies. We have bonds that pays uh, 500,000. And that one admits at least three people from the company. Then we have a gold that is 1 million and that admits five people from the company. Then we have associates that can pay 1.5. So whatever category you're in, you can pay a particular amount of money for your membership and then get the access to the website. You're able to put up your properties on a Lamudi, Realtor UG, and the rate. It's going to help your business grow and also uh, make sales. So to be able to access it, please join area. You can approach us or you can approach Red, whatever works best for you to get the offer. The offer is on this 2023 because 2024 will not have it so please members make good use of it and uh, those that are not area members and let me repeat this those that are not area members please you first need to be a member before you get the, the discount before you get the opportunity you need to be an area member so you're not going to go to the red and get uh, this opportunity without being a what an area member so join area first then you will access it please be part of us because you're going to be able to access the networking the training the advertising opportunities then you're going to be part of the area women council that is coming with such discounts that are going to help your businesses and so many others so i encourage all of you to please take it up as soon as possible because i know it will make a great impact so for the next thing on the agenda, um, we have next steps and action items. I think that has been done. Do we have any other business from anyone? If you have anyone that has any other business, you can please let us I know. Suggest, I it? suggest that uh, they type their numbers and company names in the chat so that we can reach out. Just a suggestion. Yes. Because we have uh, not yes. had a registry. Yes, that, that is very helpful. Members, please, if you can type your numbers and your names or your companies in the chat so we can be able to reach out to you when you're ready to take out the, word, the opportunity. Or you can reach out to us. I'm also going to put our numbers down here. And you're able to reach out to us. Um, the next on the agenda, we're going to have a closing remarks from the president. 
the president of area Uganda, Madam Shelly Kongai. I don't know if she's with us. Madam Shelly, are you with us? Um, good evening, members. This is not Madam Shali. The president is on a call with uh, another person, and I've, I've been asked to give the closing remarks on her behalf. If that's okay with you, see. That's very okay. Thank you so much for joining. Mm. My name is Catherine. Catherine. Okay. My name is Catherine Nanteza, a board member in charge of publicity. Uh, thank you for such a very good presentation. I had some questions, but uh, I think the opportunity passed for asking. Uh, to both CEO and uh, Mr. Sebale in charge of RED, you talk of uh, the RED as if it's limited to properties only. But you know that within the area membership, we have people that offer services in the real estate value chain. Like we have the people offering cleaning services, offering uh, waste management services. We have within us a landscaper and exterior designer. Is RED flexible enough to accommodate such people as well? is red flexible enough for them to have their pictures uh, posted as well? If you could help me answer that before I give the closing remarks, that would be very helpful. Um, and also the chat GPT, thanks for bringing it up. Members, for those who haven't uh, uploaded that app yet on your computers or your phones, you better do that. It's the way to go, it's fast. Within just seconds, you get answers to any question, English, math, science, or real estate. It's a, it's a very good app that we should embrace. But before I give the closing remarks, uh, Julius and uh, CEO, is it possible for, for us to be more flexible since we have associate members? Oh, yes. Over um, to you. Yes. Um, once someone becomes uh, a subscriber of the real estate database, we give them what is called a value-added service. If you go to real estate database, you will see those members who are not necessarily agents. For example, those who do property management, those who do cleaning services. Uh, we give them what we call a value-added service. We create for them a page where they can display or talk about their services. So yes, we are quite flexible, and uh, we give that as a value added service. I hope that answers your question. Thank you, that does answer. Without wasting so much time, because the time is already spent, I would like to appreciate the organizers of this meeting. Thank you so much, uh, Real Estate Database, the head of the Women Council, uh, Madam Priva, and uh, our lovely CEO, thank you so much. Greetings to you, Vicky. It's good to see you too. I, I think this is going to be a great year. Let's keep participating in the meetings. We have more meetings organized. Uh, the, our CEO will be letting us know when these meetings are due. But the more we meet, the more we interact, we learn, we add value to ourselves, and we keep improving. So don't forget there is a monthly meeting coming up sponsored by URA where we shall be talking about taxation in real estate. And so members, thank you for participating. God bless you all till we meet again. From the president and from the board, we love you all. Bye-bye.